got off the train from Salzburg. We're back in Vienna and it's our last night here in Austria. We go home in the morning. Which means we're gonna have to take advantage of our last night here. Yeah, and do as much as we can. We've actually haven't had a meal all day, so we're gonna go get some food, then probably go have another drink. We are staying at a really cool property that probably fits our personalities the best of all the hotels we've ever stayed at. It's the Ruby Sophie Hotel in Vienna. It's very hip and trendy. Very trendy, like swanky. You're, you're just, what? what? Is that a word? What? <laughs> <laughs> you check in on an iPad and then the thing prints out your room card. It was so cool. And the reception is at a bar, so you can like have a drink while you're doing your check-in. And then you don't have to check out, you just kind of leave. Okay, but the best part, especially for us, is we got free drink vouchers. And I'm already, well, we're both one drink in. The hotel also has a meditation room that I walked in and I was like, this is so cool. And they have like a yoga balcony and then like a sun area. So it's very hip, it's very cool. It's There's a lot of things where you can like relax and enjoy your stay. The room is very interesting, it's very minimal, but also like made to for a younger crowd or yes. a more modern crowd, a millennial well, crowd. I absolutely love it. If you're in Vienna, and I know they have some properties in Germany, I would recommend it just because it kind of fits our yes. generation. We also got these city passes, the city card, where you can get 24 hours, 40 hours, 72 hours. We got 72 since we're here for a while. Um, and it gives you so many discounts on all the things you can do. It comes with a little booklet that shows you Vienna. Like all the discounts. I think you it get. said 210 different you, discounts on like museums, restaurants, restaurants, things to do, experiences. So you have a whole lot of things that you can do and you get a nice little discounted price. And these cards are really cheap. They're not that expensive. I think for 24 hours it was like 13 euro, which is pretty good. But the best part about it is that you get to use the public transportation for free um, with these little cards. I have to say though, their metro system had figured out like after 10 minutes of being here, which is great for like any traveler, like it's so, easy to figure out yeah and also to get to the airport from the city center you can take the city airport train which is how we got here it's 16 dollars. it's literally like what 0.4 miles from the hotel which is another reason why you should totally stay at the ruby Sophie hotel and it's only 16 dollars. but if you have your city card you get a discount so you can get a discount and go over there. It takes 16 minutes to get from the airport to... Wait, I think it's $12. For, yes. It's 12 euro. Wait, we can do that tomorrow. It's 12 euro. It takes 16 minutes from the airport to get to the city center. The most efficient and effective way to get from the airport back to the city. Um, we're gonna be taking it tomorrow. We took it on the way here. It was so easy. Definitely. Take advantage of that. But hey, we love a good discount, which we'll get tomorrow. What did you order? I ordered, not very Viennese, but I ordered a chicken burrito and a beer. It tastes a lot like a blue moon, but probably a little more orangey, but it's really good. What did you order, sleepyhead? I ordered the Orient and Oxidant Salad. It's pretty basic, but you know what? When you travel, I think it's important to eat some greens to stay. You know. My burrito is so big. We are now headed back to our hotel. We walked around for a little bit longer after we had dinner. This area that we're in is actually the gay area. Um, oh, it was so nice to have. I don't want to show the front because it's kind of risque. Risque. <laughs> but it was nice to have this map that we got when we first arrived. It shows all the gay bars, the gay hotels, the 
gay community, everything uh, that you need to know as an LGBT traveler for Vienna. Vienna. We went to the village the other day, and we also went back tonight to have another drink, and then... It just reminds us it's a lot of home. I think that's why it's I very, like it so It's much. very laid back. Yeah, it's just a bar. It's just a yeah. quiet little bar with music and people. But now we're headed back to the hotel. Um, there's a lot of information you can find if you're an LGBT traveler on the Vienna website. It's called Gay in Vienna. You just showed the cover. Oh, shoot. <laughs> good night, everybody. God, it feels good to be in bed. I know. <laughs> we uh, have about six and a half hours until we have to wake up and go to the airport. I've loved Austria, though. I think it's a very under talked about country. Yeah, you never hear about like Austria when people talk about Europe. Maybe you hear about Salzburg just because of the sound of music I really music think stuff, you only hear about it because of the sound of music. Yeah. You might hear about Vienna for a little bit, but like it's not really like a prevalent place that people you hear like to. Paris, like Paris, London, Paris, London Barcelona, Budapest. But add like Vienna and Salzburg to the list because you definitely won't regret it. I kind of wish we could have done Innsbruck, but you know, that'll be a different trip. But, and another really cool thing I don't think we've mentioned in a video yet is that when you go through customs here, like you didn't, they didn't fill out a make form. A form. They I don't just know. stamped your passport and asked why you were here. If they're, it was that just really simple. trusting of everyone that comes here to visit. I yeah. think, from what, you can see, I feel like the economy of Austria is just really flourishing and it's great. And I feel like, we were talking about the other day of what the crime rate would be in Austria. And I don't know I can't if it would be out super would high. Be. Just because the energy and the atmosphere feels very welcoming, inviting, and safe. Um, even as LGBT couple, we were walking around and majority of the time we at least saw one gay couple, one lesbian couple. Um, in our line of sight, no and one's no one staring. gives a rat's ass. Yeah, it about was really refreshing. To anyone see who that. is homosexual. It is a very embracing country of the LGBT community and LGBT travelers, so it made our stay that much more comfortable. Yeah, there was so much to see, so much to do as someone in the LGBT community. Um, we only got like a taste of it. We got a little, <laughs> a little, a little sip of the tea. But highly recommend Austria if you are looking for somewhere to come to in Europe. I think this is one place that we'll definitely come back to. Oh, for and sure. And visit again. It's beautiful. It's literally so beautiful. And, and I there's still so I much do more so to much see. More. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. We will see you. Who knows where our next adventure will be, but we'll see you for an all new adventure. I vote Costa Rica. Maybe, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Bye everybody.